Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am going to do an alcohol ink tutorial. Now, isopropyl alcohol is quite difficult to buy at the minute, so I'm gonna try and use it fairly sparingly. But what I've got today is some Yippo paper. So I can put links to everything in my description below. So I've cut out an A4 size Yippo paper. And I kind of wanted to do like a fashion style figure. Uh, that's what I'm going to go for today. So what I want to do is roughly draw out the outline of the fashion figure that I want. It's not going to have like too much detail in it. It's mainly the outline that I want. So I'm going to use a pencil, but just do it really, really faintly. And I've just got like, I just found a picture online. So you can just find a picture online that you like the outline of. Okay, so once I'm happy with that image, I want to start using the alcohol ink. So I'm just gonna, I've got some protective um, covering here. I'm just gonna pop down. Now I wanna lay down a fairly dark color at first because I want it to cover up the pencil lines and also it's easier to take alcohol ink out. So I've just popped a glove on. The color I'm gonna start by using is indigo by Tim Holtz and I've got some isopropyl 99% um, literally running out on the last bit and I'm just going to pop some in a cup here so I'm going to work quite quickly I've got my isopropyl I'm going to dip the paintbrush in and go around the lines go slightly over the pencil and then put a drop of the alcohol ink on and then just work round and get the whole outline sorted. So I'm just going to start by doing that. And the isopropyl dries quite quick so I don't want to wait too long to put the ink down each time. I'm just trying to make sure that the line is fairly neat. It doesn't really matter how light or dark it is in the middle, I just want to make sure it's got isopropyl. So that's looking fine for now, I'm just going to work my way down. The more isopropyl you put on your paintbrush the more it's going to spread out so if you're doing anywhere near a line try not to have too much isopropyl on your paintbrush because otherwise it will spread out like it's kind of down a little bit there. So I'm going to wait for that to like completely dry before I work on it anymore. Okay, so it's dried um, and I would like to add a few different colours. Um, what I want to do is add some wild plum and then I've also got some stream but I'm not sure. I might not use it so I'm going to see how it looks with this first and I'm just going to sort of Pop it around and see what it does. Help it a bit with the ice profile. And I think it's just nice to have a bit of a different colour. What I might do is sort of having have a bit of the pink at the bottom. Whoops. Is it coming off it a bit? I don't know. So 
suppose it would just make it look a bit more abstract. Just trying to tidy up some edges here. So I think I might leave it there for now and wait for it to dry. Okay, so it's now dry. I've also got some liquid leaf, so I'm going to... So I think the liquid leaf is actually a little bit easier to use on this one. So I look like a super thin brush now, actually. I think that's going to work better. And I'm going to do a few more outlines. Okay guys, the head got chopped off. <laughs> Basically I just decided I really didn't like it. It just, the hat thing wasn't working and I thought, do you know what, I'll show you guys because, you know, I make mistakes too and I, and it's easy to correct so I've just kind of cut her the bits that I did like out and stuck, restuck it on another piece of yippo and I'm just going to redo it so this time I'm not going to draw a hat. I'll do the same thing where I'll just put the isopropyl down, it's already kind of got colour in it so that's fine. Yeah I'm going to do the same thing and put the isopropyl down. I might just do a couple little like sprays. Just around that end and then maybe also at the bottom here. So I'm nearly finished here. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more of gold leaf, liquid gold leaf to um, the bits that I haven't yet done. And I'm not gonna make the same mistake and attempt to draw her face <laughs> so I'm just gonna add like a kind of a couple of little like tiny gold bits just going around sections that um have made a pattern So these are kind of details zoomed in, so you can see them a bit more. It's quite nice getting all these little patterns when the sun hits it. Kind of goes shiny at bits. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's slightly different from normal, but I wanted to try it for a while. And I think each person can kind of make it their own. And there's probably different things that I could add or whatever. But right now I want to stop at this point. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button to watch new videos soon. Thanks guys, bye.